our co-anchor tonight, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. I proudly joined my colleagues in the Congressional Black Caucus to commemorate the unbought and unbossed legacy of Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm that lives on through each of us. I'd like to thank Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee for being our anchor of the special order hour and yielding tonight to let Congresswoman Barbara Lee open up this special session on Shirley Chisholm. Before I make just a few brief remarks, let me just say, as we just heard Congresswoman Barbara Lee say, as Shirley Chisholm referred to her as that little girl, oh, how proud she would be today, knowing that little girl is now the woman that we say, Barbara Lee speaks for me. She is the woman that spearheaded putting Shirley Chisholm's face on a stamp. And every day, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, through her stellar and magnificent leadership, guides us in the footsteps of Shirley Chisholm. Certainly, she is unbought and unbossed. So to you, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, I say thank you for allowing us to stand on your shoulders. Thank you for when you walk in the room, whether it's steering and policy, whether it's appropriations or any of the other committees, you always carry members with you. And that's what Shirley Chisholm has done for this nation. And so now let me say what you will hear repeatedly tonight. The first black woman elected to the United States Congress. You will hear that she is the first black woman to seek nomination from the pre as president of these United States from one of the two major political powers. Certainly she left us a legacy that lives on, a legacy that we are so proud of. And what I would like to say to everyone watching, Madam Speaker, especially for mothers and daughters. Think of what it must have been like to stand in the halls of justice where we are standing today, but she was standing alone. Think what it must have been like for her when she stood on that Democratic national floor at that convention giving such a powerful speech, far ahead of her time when she held up those two fingers that we see so often, and that we today stand on her shoulders. Lastly, Madam Speaker, it gives me a great privilege to walk these halls of Congress and to be the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus but when I walk down the halls of justice, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, I think about you standing on the shoulders of Barbara Jordan. I think about what it was like to have a Shirley Chisholm and a Barbara Jordan. But then, Madam Speaker, I know what it's like. It's having a Barbara Lee and a Sheila Jackson Lee. And that is what tonight is about. And when I walk by that life-size portrait of Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, I think about her courage. I think about her leadership. I think about what we will tell every little black girl in America. You too can be a Shirley Chisholm. You too can stand up for justice. You too can be in the fight representing the people who need us the most. And so with that, I say the two most powerful words that I was taught to say, and that's thank you. Thank you to these halls of Congress for letting us have a Shirley Chisholm. Thank you members of the Congressional Black Caucus for coming out tonight to honor her great legacy because it is not just about this special order hour tonight. It is about our future. It is 
about how we continue to live the legacy of Shirley Chisholm. And with that, Madam Co-Anchor, I yield back. Let me first uh, say to our chair that uh, our power and our message <laughs> is exactly what you have delivered tonight. And I just want to thank you for your very gracious remarks and just know that I know Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm is proud of your leadership and proud of the fact that although she was one in 1968, I believe we have, what, 25 bold, brilliant black women in the Congressional Black Caucus. So thank you again for giving us a chance to honor her tonight and for your leadership. Let me now yield to the chair of our Science and Technology Committee, the gentlewoman from Texas who has been a mentor to so many of us <laughs> since we've been here. I've been here since 1998. And she took me and uh, explained to me why, and I was on the Science and Technology Committee when I first came to Congress. And I learned so much from her and have really uh, just honored her for his, her uh, helping us navigate as black women, this institution. Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. Thank you so very much. I am truly proud to stand tonight with our leader of this hour, as well as the leader of our caucus, to pay tribute to Shirley Chisholm. Just a little over 50 years ago today, in a 1972 speech announcing her candidacy for president, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm said, I am not the candidate of black America, although I am black and proud. I am not the candidate of the women's movement of this country, although I'm a woman. And I am equally proud of that. I am the candidate of the people of America and my presence before you now symbolizes a new era in American political history. Here was a black woman from Brooklyn, New York, of Guyanese descent, born to a burlap worker and a seamstress, boldly declaring a new era in American politics. But despite her best efforts, Congresswoman Chisholm knew that the outcome of her candidacy was preordained. At the time, our country was still learning to accept black people and women as equal citizens. That's the year I was first elected for my first elective office, much less than electing one of the President of the United States. Nevertheless, she persisted. She held an unwavering faith in our common humanity even when our common humanity did not hold the same faith in her. And it was that same faith that drove her campaign. She transcended political norms by bringing the issues of gender and racial equality to the national stage. She highlighted and reinforced the importance of diversity at the table of public discourse. And she shattered any preconceived notions about black women in public service, particularly in politics. Building on her work as the first black woman elected to Congress, she blazed that trail and the torch of progress for many of us who have had to follow. Today, the Congressional Black Caucus, which she helped to establish, has 27 women from districts across the country. And I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say that we would not be here today if it was not for her life and legacy. So as we celebrate Black History Month and the 50th anniversary of her presidential campaign and the 51st anniversary of the Congressional Black Caucus, let Congresswoman Chisholm's story serve as a reminder that equality and justice are the responsibility of every generation and it's our turn. Madam Speaker, I'd like to thank the Congressional Black Caucus, our distinguished leader, Barbara Lee, for offering us this opportunity. I yield back.
Thank you very much, Chairwoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, for that very powerful statement, and also for reminding us of her humble beginnings. Because she also, when she came to Congress, championed the rights of, of domestic workers, of low-income people, and, and it was in her soul and in her spirit, and she turned her, um, her vision into legislation here and was an excellent uh, uh, legislator who never lost touch of who she was. So th thank you for reminding us of that. 